The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today concluded with the people declaring, We have seen incredible things today. Nakakita kami ng mga kahangahangang bagay ngayon. And the people said this because Jesus healed the paralyzed man. But more than physical healing, Jesus did something more for the man. He also forgave his sins. And when the people saw this, when the people saw the complete, holistic healing that Jesus did to the man, they were astonished and they said, We have seen incredible things today. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we also heard promises of astonishing and incredible things that the Lord intends to do for His people. Just imagine if you are the people being addressed to by these words of the prophet. Isaiah says, The desert and the parched land will bloom with abundant flowers because there will be rivers and streams in the desert. 
in a dry land, there will be abundant flowers because there will be abundant water. Sa isang lugar na tuyo at patay, magkakaroon ng maraming bulaklak dahil magkakaroon ng umaapaw na tubig. The Lord even said that the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf will be cleared, the lame will leap, and the mute will sing. There will be gladness, there will be joy, sorrow and mourning will flee. And with all of this, the people will be able to say, We have seen incredible things today. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, yesterday we observed the Catholic Handicapped Day, the day of persons with disabilities. And yesterday here at the Manila Cathedral, Cardinal Advincula presided a Mass with the different communities of the PWDs in the Archdiocese of Manila. And at the conclusion of the Mass, the recessional hymn was the famous Advent song, Balang Araw. Balang Araw ang liwanag matatanaw ng bulag. Balang araw, tatakbo ang pilay at lumpo. Balang araw, mumut mamumutawi sa bibig ng mga pipi, pasasalamat at papuri. And you know, as that was being sang yesterday at the recessional of the Mass, I was moved to see blind people, deaf and mute people, lame people who are singing this song. Balang araw ang bulag makakakita, ang mga pipi aawit, ang mga bingi makakarinig, ang mga lumpo magtatatalon at magsasasayaw. I have never sung the song as concretely as it was sung yesterday in the presence of real people with disabilities waiting for the astonishing things that God will do to them. My dear brothers and sisters, every day, God does astonishing things in our life. Every day, God does incredible things in our life. We just have to open our eyes in order to see them. And part of our Advent journey is to open our eyes and be sensitive to the workings of God so that we will always be surprised at the astonishing, marvelous, and wonderful works God has been doing in our lives. Madalas hindi natin nakikita ang mga ginagawa ng Diyos sa ating buhay dahil tayo'y nakapikit o dahil sa iba tayo nakatingin. Like, the scribes and the Pharisees in our gospel who chose to look for things they could criticize about than to rejoice with the man healed by Jesus. Imagine, it was a very joyful moment. A paralyzed man was healed and forgiven of his sins. While everyone was rejoicing, these people, the scribes and the Pharisees, were looking for something to accuse Jesus of. 
mas pinipili nilang hanapin ang mali sa ginawa ni Jesus kaysa sa maging masaya sa pagpapagaling na ginawa ni Jesus. I am sure at the end of the day, while all the people were saying, we have seen incredible things today, the scribes and the Pharisees went to sleep or maybe they were not able to go to sleep because they were so angry in their, in their hearts. They were so irritated at what Jesus has been doing. Hindi nakatulog sa inis, hindi nakatulog sa galit nila sa mga ginagawa ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, God does incredible things in our life every single day. We just to have to look at them, to see them, and to thank God for them. The mere fact that we are all alive this morning, this is something incredible. This is something astonishing. Have you even thanked God for waking you up today? My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to be sensitive to how God will work in your life today and every single day so that at the end of each day we may go to sleep not frustrated and complaining but at the end of each day may we go to sleep praising God and saying I have seen incredible things today.